Everyone knows you can buy silver and gold from your online dealers or from your local coin store. But are there other options? Uh, I think so. I bought some gold and I bought some silver off Instagram. I also bought some gold last week off Instagram. I think it's worth looking into. I want to talk about it a little bit. Let's let's talk about Instagram and the purchase, purchases I made and whether or not you should do it too. Let's get into it. What's up everybody? Coin and Silver Journey here. Back again. This time, got some gold and I got some silver. Um, and I bought it off Instagram. So yeah, before we get into it, uh, thank you for everyone who's been subscribing. We're, we're getting close to 500. Uh, and when that happens, I do have a giveaway in the works. What I will be giving away is in this package. Uh, we'll talk about that later in the video, so stick around if you want to see what that's going to be. But yeah, let's get into it. So, Instagram. What is Instagram? I know it seems silly to say what it is, but not everybody has an Instagram. Not everyone's hip or uh, anything like that. You know, YouTube, Facebook is pretty norm, but Instagram's a little different. So Instagram, it's, it's a social media platform similar to Facebook. Uh, people share photos, sometimes videos, and add hashtags. Hashtags are the, the, the number sign next to a word or a saying. Uh, for example, hashtag silver stacking. So when you do that, uh, you post a video or a picture and you add your hashtags next to it. And then it'll pop up other people's feeds who follow stuff related to that, whether it's silver, gold, whatever you want to add. You know, pre-33 and... Uh, your picture could pop up on their feed, uh, etc. So I know everyone knows about it, what it is, but just want to give a brief little description what it is for those who don't know what it is. Right? So I am on Instagram, Coin and Silver Journey, if you do happen to download the app. Follow me on there. Um, post all kinds of stuff on there. When my videos go up, I post. I post pictures of just cool silver, gold, just interesting stuff. Um, so Instagram has a big silver and gold stacking community on there, similar to YouTube. A lot of people that are on YouTube are also on Instagram. Um, all the big silver stacking channels, I'd say 90% of them have an Instagram account. You know, Yankee Stacking, Silver Dragons, just to name a few. They all have uh, Guido Stacking. Uh, they have Instagram. And, you know, it's another platform to reach people uh, for them to see your YouTube or just talk about silver and gold. Just another platform. Um, so with there being a big community, uh, naturally people want to sell silver and gold. You get all these silver stackers, gold stackers, and times are rough right now, or just a flip, or you just want to sh share the love with something you got a good price on, they sell on Instagram. Uh, so that being natural, it, it happens. And so when they do sell, uh, sometimes it's auction, sometimes it's raffle, sometimes it's a buy it now. Um, sometimes there's giveaways. A lot of times there's a lot of giveaways on Instagram. I know on YouTube when giveaways happen, people do go crazy for those and they do participate. So that's a benefit of Instagram too. Lots of giveaways, lots of free silver. A big selection of silver to be bought if you are interested. Uh, and fair prices. Uh, to me, most of them are always cheaper than online dealers. Um, coin shops, depending. But... A lot of times they're, they're good deals because the people just want to get rid of it. They're trying to buy something else or they want to do a trade. And so you, the buyer, get the benefit of them just trying to get rid of the silver or gold they have. So it works out for you if you are a buyer uh, on Instagram. So, so yeah, so now that we kind of know on Instagram what it's all about, let's see what I bought. Let's see what I purchased. So let's, let's get to the silver first. Um, I will shout out this... Uh, Instagram I bought it from. This is JC Silver Stacks, I believe. And I did open both of these. Um, luckily, I did because they did a very good packaging on these. And you would have spent watching me five minutes unpack this stuff. So I'm glad I did. So he, he has a channel sticker. I don't believe he has a YouTube. It's just his Instagram. He he sells on Instagram and all kinds of stuff on there. He's a cool guy. Uh, JC Silver Stacks. A little jalapeno. Pretty cool. Nice guy. Quick shipping, uh, really fair prices. So what I picked up from him was 10 coal peace dollars. Over there. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I picked up from him. Let me check some of these out here. So if you don't know what coal is, it just means a damaged or uh, cleaned, has some little nick marks, maybe a couple dings on the rim. Basically an undesirable coin, but it does not mean that it has less silver necessarily than a regular coin, right? Typically when you see coal, sometimes they can be they can be pretty pretty slick. I'll give you an example over here. I think I have a coal in the background. Let's see if I can throw you one over here. There we go. There we go. Check it out. So this is also a coal. So you can you can buy them like this, which to me is less desirable. And none of the ones he sold me were like that. Uh, but if you buy piece dollars like this, you definitely want to get get them by weight. Don't pay per coin because they can have a little less silver than say something with less wear. So keep that in mind. Right back over there. Uh, so I got ten piece dollars, like I was saying. They are considered coals for various reasons. You know, this one's got. Interesting. I wasn't sure if this was an assayer's mark. They used to do that uh, way back in the day on Morgans where they would put little stamps when they go to different countries um, as a form of payment proving that they're, they're real. Uh, I don't think that's the case on this one. I'm not sure if they were doing that still in the 20s. It may just be someone messing with the coin. I thought that was cool. Um, you know, just a bunch of random dates, polished. But for the most part, the wear on these is, is very minimal. Yes, they're a little ugly. But I only paid $12 a piece on these. Uh, so if you do the math on these piece dollars here, it's 0 0.77, let me get the exact number, 0 0.7734 of silver. So 77.34 of an ounce, 77%. So if you multiply that by the current spot price right now, uh, which is $15.35, if you multiply that by 0 0.7734, it equals $11.87. So... You got eleven dollars and eighty-seven cents of silver in each one of these coins, assuming they're not worn slick like the one I showed you back there. So I paid twelve dollars per with four dollars shipping. I thought it was a really great deal. It was a better deal when I bought it. Silver was in the fifteen sixties when I bought that, and so that would have came out to about twelve dollars and seven cents of silver per per coin. Um, so it's important to not get beat up cold coins when you buy that. Uh, Unless you're paying by weight, which I've done in the past. I do have a video um, recently where I bought coal junk silver for my LCS uh, and I paid 42 cents per gram. So if you're going to go that route, try and pay by weight, uh, not per coin, so you don't lose too much of the silver value. But these being hardly worn, just a little ugly, I thought I got a smoking deal. So thank you, JC Silver Stacks. Appreciate the good deal. So yeah, so that's kind of one of the benefits of buying on Instagram is just the deals you can find. You know, am I going to go on Atmex and and pay $12 per coal piece dollar? Absolutely not. I can almost guarantee you they're charging $18, $19 plus, And then you got to spend $99 for free shipping. So it there's good deals to be had. Um, I did have some comments. I'll bring this up more with the gold. Uh, on my last video where I bought those Canadian maples, those quarter ounce maples, saying I would never, never, ever buy gold off of Instagram. Well, some people are like that. And it's nothing wrong with being extra cautious. There really isn't. But good deals can still be had. And if you're worried about buying off Instagram and getting scammed, buy some American uh, coinage that it has silver content. No one's going to fake a beat up peace dollar. Right? Who's going to take the time to do that? Um, you're better off buying smaller dominations to be really safe, but junk silver is a safe bet unless it is a rare coin. You know, if you get a 1804 uh, $1 coin, uh, you know, worth $30,000 and they're selling for $500, will obviously stay away. You know, a little bit of common sense goes hand in hand with that, but I wouldn't say uh, don't buy off Instagram just for the fact, you know, you're going to get scammed. No. You know, be smart about it just like you are with any purchases uh, and do your do your research talk to the person see what they're all about without further ado I did oh say so, oh you saw it I'll show you I bought some silver so this right here this package I got uh, it's from silver chimp he had a huge sale on Instagram if you if you saw that whew, man uh, at the end of it the tally he told everyone he sold five ounces of gold, 
and 4,600 ounces of silver. All of it was below the current price that they're asking online. Some stuff he gave away at smoking deals. He gave it to a 25, uh, 2018 silver maples for $17 per coin. So smoking deals. Thanks again, Silver Chimp, on this. I'll put his Instagram and his YouTube. He is a YouTube creator, content creator. Um, really nice guy. I talked to him a little bit. Definitely would buy from him again. But so here's what I bought from him. This is a little unorthodox for me. I don't typically buy high premium silver, collectible silver. I'm more in for the weight. But I did pick up this two ounce Queen's Beast. I guess it is the bowl. Uh, Black Bowl of Clearance. Cool coin. I only paid 40 bucks for it. I know these have a high premium. Um, we'll get back to this later. This is most likely going to be a part of my 500 uh, subscriber giveaway. Probably giving away this bad boy, uh, which is around the corner. Uh, I was happy to pick this up. Two ounces of silver, $20 piece. Being a bit of a premium piece, I thought that was a great deal. I know they go for more online. And then, picked up some gold. Another quarter ounce. So, you're probably wondering, why would you buy slapped? Why not just buy raw and pay cheaper? Well, I got such a good smoking deal on this, the slab was irrelevant. And on top of that, uh, for the naysayers that are worried about buying gold on Instagram, here's a way to get around that. Buy a slab coin if you can find a good deal on it. So, I only paid $450 for this quarter ounce eagle. Uh, is it 2017, I believe? Yeah, 2017. And it's an MS-70, which on top of everything is just icing on the cake. Um, perfect condition coin at an amazing price. Uh, so to me, this was scam proof, right? I, I trusted Silver Chimp. He's a YouTube guy. Um, he's a nice guy. He's very straightforward. And when I bought from him, he sent me pictures. He sent me videos. Shipping was really fast. Just a, a great guy overall. And so if you're worried about buying Instagram, you know, buy junk silver, buy buy stuff like this where it's almost scam proof. Don't don't buy a, a rare coin uh, that's you know 150 years old and supposed to be mint state condition, but it's a raw. You know, protect yourself if you're worried in other ways. Make it to where you can't really get scammed. So I was happy to pick up another quarter ounce of gold. Um, you can't go wrong. I've got three quarter ounces of gold in the past two weeks. I'm going to be slowing down a little bit. Um, spend a little more money than I normally do. A little bit out of my budget being how gold is so expensive. I do have some pending orders I'm waiting to come in that I made about a month ago. Um, but yeah, so I'll get back to this. When we hit 500 subscribers, I do believe I'll be giving this bad boy away to one lucky winner. So if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. So you'll know when I'm going to do this, when I'm going to give it away, and you don't miss out. But anyways, uh, this just wanted to point out how Instagram is another place you can purchase. Uh, with times being how they are, somewhat of a shortage uh, on some things, on silver and gold, don't discount Instagram. Do your research. Uh, like I said, a little bit of common sense goes a long way. There's a lot of reputable dealers. There's just... Buy like you would from a normal normal situation, normal LCS or on eBay. If they don't have a lot of followers, if something seems fishy, too good to be true, then don't buy from them, right? But good luck out there, everyone. Hopefully, you guys are staying safe. Hopefully, you're getting some good deals on gold and silver. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. The journey continues in the next video. All right, everyone. Peace.